Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be doing something actually pretty cool. Essentially what we're going to do today is we are going to work on the tender. Now, I want to put something on the side. I still don't really know what I want to put on the side, but we'll figure something out. Uh, I also want to go ahead and put some sort of like stuff on the back of here as well. Um, some sort of um, equipment and things like that, that would be pretty cool. And then on the front as well, I want to have some little doors so we can actually open this up and uh, get the coal out a little bit easier. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get on with it, shall we? Okay, so just before the video begins, if you guys are enjoying the series as it is so far, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe leave a like on the videos that you do watch. Also, I will be making creations in the future that are different to this, uh, so if you guys want to see those, um, yeah, try and stick around. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, and I'm actually going to change the color of it as well. We're going to go from this yellow to an LNER green, I think. Okie dokie, so uh, I believe that the actual uh, colour for this then, let's go to the paint, there we go. Let's go ahead and go to here and we'll figure this out. So a new paint, actually no, wait, 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 stop, calm down, stop it. Ah, cancel, there we go. Uh, so we need to go ahead and get 42, okay, 42, yes, there we go, 42, very good. Then we're going to go for 127, 1, 2, 7. There we go, awesome, and then we're gonna go for 44, alright, there we go, 44, and that apparently is the right colour, but um, I'm not entirely sure it is. Anyway, we'll put it right there, we'll go ahead and grab it, and we'll paint the whole uh, locomotive that colour, interesting. And there we go, the Queen of Pooh in LNER green, that is, um, I mean it's kind of interesting, obviously with the, uh, the trims being gold, uh, it looks a little bit strange, also I don't know why that's painted like that, but it is, um, that's kind of interesting, yeah, sure. Okie dokie, so now it's time to actually work on this little bit right here, essentially what I want to do is, I want to have, I think I want doors, let's um, do this, actually how do I want to do this? This doesn't even need to be here. That is not even part of it. Um, right, track. Should I have track? Or should we have it open up? I kind of want it to slide. Like, if it could slide open, that would be really cool. But I'm not sure it'll work. And it doesn't have to slide open all that much either. It really doesn't. So if we do this, we put a bit of track right there. Okay, and then we put a bit of track right there. Actually, let's put two in. There we go. Awesome. Then we'll actually delete this little section. Uh, leave that bit in, delete this bit, very good. We'll then put these pieces in, like this. Alright, hold on. So that'll open up that way, and that'll open up that way. And then we lock these together like this. So that goes like that, that goes like that, awesome. Like that, like this, and then this goes like that, sure. And then this goes like this, bam. Actually, wait. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, we'll go with that, bam. And then this does the si a similar thing, I guess. So we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Okay, interesting. Uh, and I think those should actually slide open, uh, and that would be pretty cool. Alright, do that. All the way over to there. Yeah, like this. And then do this piece, like this. And then do these pieces. Okay, so that'll go on there like that. Bam, 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 bam. Turn it around, and that'll go in there like that. Awesome. Uh, just to make this look a little bit nicer, I think we're actually going to continue this all the way across. Because um, it makes sense. So there we go. Uh, then, just to control those, we need a button. I'm actually thinking of putting the button in the door. Uh, and that makes sense. Here we go. Toggle button. Go ahead and whack that in right there. And that is fine. Cool. Alright, so with that being said, we need a switch box uh, in order to actually help with this. So here we go. Just put this right uh, here, I guess. Uh, we do only need one, so disable that. Put that there. Very good. Attach this to there and there. And then attach the signal to the button, and then we need a number that is constantly one. So, number, let's go ahead and grab one, and uh, we'll just whack it in, right there. Okay, connect those together, so on goes to there. That is going to be one, and we'll see what this does. Okay, dokily, everybody ready? Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. So, if we get inside, uh, like this, it's the worst way of getting into this thing, but there you go. Uh, and then, oh. Oh, what just happened? 
Okay, so uh, that'll open and then we need it to close, so we actually need to go ahead and put this in. Also, I put a battery in so that it does actually open and then close. Uh, because apparently we needed, uh, we needed a battery, which is interesting. Anyway, off is gonna go to there and that will actually shut it. Awesome! Now this is good, this is really cool. So, let's go inside here. Uh, oh, jump up, jump in, there we go. Uh, then we press this button, it opens up, we can see the thing, that's awesome. Close it and we can't see the thing anymore. That is, yes, that's how we wanted it. Amazing. All right, so with that being said then, let's go ahead and quickly paint this little bit because uh, it doesn't look right being that color, so there we go. Uh, we're also gonna add some pipes and things, so if we can get a rocket booster, yes, like this piece, we can actually put this in on both sides. We'll put it in up there like this, uh, and then we'll actually grab one of these pieces, yes, we'll put that right there, and uh, we'll have that pipe go backwards. Here we go, pipe it. Uh, backwards. Here we go. Okay. No, we can't. Damn it. Uh, if we delete that, that's alright. And we put this in instead. That could be pretty cool. There we go. And we can pipe ourselves straight onto there. So whack that right there. Whack this down. Uh, like so. And that is completely fine. Awesome. I did just, did just have another idea as well, by the way. Rocket boosters. Look at these. Actual, like, choo-choo train funnels. If you wanted to make like a western, like a, yeah, I guess a western train, you could totally put one of those on as a funnel, have the, uh, the, the smoke come out underneath it, and that would be really cool. Yeah, it looks like a smokestack. That's cool. We, uh, we're not gonna have one on this locomotive though, because I don't really want one, so there you go. But anyway, that's all fine. This actually looks pretty cool, uh, and I was thinking we might need some, uh, stuff on here. So, uh, with that being said, what would we actually need on here? What would we need? Uh, I think a fire extinguisher would be pretty cool. Uh, that is, if we want one, which I, I think we do. We'll have a fire extinguisher in there. Awesome, just in case. Uh, we'll also have a... What else do we want? A first aid kit, that would be pretty good. So we'll have two first aid kits, and that is awesome. Very good. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and delete these again. We're going to grab some pipes once again, and we're actually going to do this. All right, attach this to there, like so. We're going to have it angled down, like this, and we're actually going to have this bit come down to the floor. Yeah, because that makes it look a tiny bit better, which is obviously awesome. Uh, anything else that we need to do? I think I want one coming across the top, too. Alright, hold on. Put this in like this. Awesome. Grab this, make it go sideways, and then we're just going to attach it together, like this, across the top. Why not? Uh, as well as that, this thing actually needs to be painted, too. So hopefully that's painted it the right colour. Yes. Uh, and that's it. Awesome. Spot it in. Let's see what it looks like. Okie dokie. Open it up. That's awesome. Close it up again. And that is obviously pretty good too. Very nice. I like this thing, guys. I like it. I think it's cool. Bam. Bam. Yeah. Now, I would prefer it if we could actually make this, like, flat and then this one flat. But it wouldn't look right, I don't think. Because this would be bigger than that one. And that doesn't make sense. So, there you go. Anyway. Right. What else do we need to do? You know, a little light back here would be pretty cool too, and somebody did mention before that if we just had one dangling from the roof, that would be pretty awesome. So, how about we actually do that? Here we go. We'll delete this. Get ourselves a rope anchor thing. Here we go. Actually, no, it'd have to be one of these, which is unfortunate, but there you go. Put that right there. Very nice. Get ourselves a pivot as well. Whack that on right there. Grab another one of these. Put it upside down. Like so. And I guess the light would go under there. Here we go. Light. Yes. Okay, we'll just attach one to both sides, actually. No. Looks weird. We'll put that there. Awesome. Delete this. Attach these together. Uh, via rope. <laughs> via rope. There we go. Give this electricity via this. There we go. And I guess it should automatically turn on with, um, uh, well, I guess we need a button. Here we go. So we'll put a button in the roof. Why not? Okay, toggle button. Whack that in right there. Attach this. To there. Awesome. Attach this to there as well. And, uh, yeah. Alright, cool. We'll also attach this to, uh, something over here too. Alright, awesome. So, in theory, we can now turn that on. Maybe. I don't know. Is it a bit weird just dangling there? We can't turn it on. Why not? Why can't I turn it on? It's got electricity, right? Does it? Yeah. It's attached as well. Okay, so why can't we turn it on? That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, right, we need to paint the roof. That's already done. Never mind. 
Uh, and we are good. Oh, is it because these are hoses? These are hoses. These aren't cable ones. There we go. We needed cable ones. Here we go. And there we go. Okay, awesome. Attach that to there. Attach it to there. And that is fine. We should probably also attach this to this with a cable. Um, so yeah, we should probably do that. Let me do that real quick. All right, we've uh, put the uh, the anchor cable right here. That's fine. And then we'll put one on the inside of here as well. Uh, I don't know where. Like here, I guess. Sure. Uh, somewhere in the middle. Awesome. Attach this to there. No, not to there. Attach this to there. And then attach this up to there. Very good. And then attach them together via a cable. Very nice. All right, spawn it in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We also need to do this. Because it's not connected currently. So there we go. Good. All right, we're doing things, guys. We're doing things. Press the button. Why isn't it working? Honestly, why isn't it working? I don't understand. Okie dokie. Well, we've got this thing swinging around. I guess, I guess that's, I guess that's fine. All right, cool. Then we can open this. We can close this. And that is awesome. Very nice. This, this bit actually is starting to look pretty good. Uh, it's still a bit bland in here and I'm not sure what to add in the floor. Because I feel like there should be something in here. Um, but it is actually looking A-OK. -okay. That works. That's fantastic. Uh, we get our foot. I think I should move these, honestly. I feel like I should move those. Um, and actually, as well, I think I'm actually going to attach these on to give us a little bit more of a uh, standing point. I think that makes sense too. As well as that, actually, we're going to add these pieces to here. Uh, and that all should actually work out very well. So, we're going to have to test this. We're going to have to make sure that these actually slide under. I then need a new way of getting in, because I don't have a way of getting in now. Except, unless I do this. Here we go. We can actually just jump in like that. Easy. Alright, here we go. Do this, do this. And uh, we'll see... If this system down here works, because this is part of the tender and this is part of the actual locomotive. We'll see if it works. We're moving! Yes! All right, cool. Let's go, go, go! Woohoo! Nice! I love this. This is so good so far. Right, so we got to keep an eye on this. Obviously, it will open and close as we go around corners, uh, but we need to see how much it does actually open and close as we go around those corners. So, how far away are we from like a big bend? Quite far. All right, just go as fast as you can, please, train. We're going 47 meters per second. 48, actually. Wow, we are quick. This thing is fast. Uh, well, I mean, that's that's kind of interesting, I suppose. <laughs> because the locomotive actually goes so fast, uh, that is just going to fly around in the wind. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that's completely fine. Right, how far away from, are we from the bend? We're not that far away. In fact, it's coming up, right? Is it coming up? Let's have a little look. Uh, yeah, alright, we're almost there, so, uh, then we'll be able to see what goes on with this, and then we'll be able to see whether we want to keep it, or we need to change it, so, um, yeah, alright, we're almost there, we are, we are very close, come on, go around the corner, come on, go around the corner now, there we go, uh, and then, this is like the sharpest bends, or one of the sharpest bends it's gonna take, and it does appear to be fine, it appears to be completely fine, that's awesome. Alright, so let's say that uh, we need some stuff on the back as well then. We're going to go ahead and start deleting a few of these. In fact, this entire wall is going to come out. There we go. Uh, and we're going to replace it with cables. We're also going to replace it with uh, ropes and some hoses as well. So cable. Let, um, no, wait, 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 wait. Anchor. No, 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 no. Rope. We're going to type in rope. There we go. We'll have quite a lot of rope. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And we'll just have one hose because... Reasons. We can't actually do anything with it, so we'll leave it there like that. Amazing. Uh, anything else that we should really have? I think equipment in terms of, like, firefighting equipment would be quite nice, because obviously it gets hot inside of the uh, the actual locomotive. Uh, I'm not sure where I would want to put it, though. Kind of feel like behind the seats would be nice, but then again, I don't really know. And, I, yeah, I, I don't really know. We'll put this in anyway, uh, like so, and we'll see what that's like. There we go. And we'll actually put that piece in there like that. And we'll also delete this. And we'll put this in. Like so. And that is... That's what we wanted. Alright, cool. That actually works really well. Nice. Paint that bit too. And we've done it on both sides. Amazing. Yeah, cool. Uh, we will also add this across the top. Like so. Uh, and we'll also put this piece on right here as well. And that is a little bit more use for the room back here. Very nice. All right, now as for the floor, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. We could make a wooden floor in here, but that would be completely pointless. 
Because, um, yeah, it doesn't really work like that, does it? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You don't put fire next to a wooden floor, because that's just silly. But um, we could just paint, like, a random bunch of lines. We could have it quite dotty in here, and I think that would make it at least a little bit nicer. So that's what we'll do. We'll have it like this in here, and I think it will actually be pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind that whatsoever. All right, awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, with that being said as well, uh, we could actually do that to the walls, but I'm okay with that. Let's do a bit here too. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, these two as well. Then this one, this one, and this one, and that one. There, nice. Okay, let's jump inside, see what that looks like, and hopefully looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit like a kitchen, but at the same time, uh, it's totally fine, yeah. If I did this with paint blocks, obviously it would look a bit nicer, but... With that being said, it breaks up the floor a little bit, makes it look a little bit better in here, and, uh, yeah, I totally like it, so we'll keep it. Uh, these firefighting outfits, obviously very good as well, uh, and then this totally works, I love it. Our additions are actually pretty good today, I like them. Alright, now we need to figure out what we actually want in, oh, well, written on the side of this. And I'm not entirely sure what I want written on it, but, like, let's say it's an F, F, S, F, S... How do I do an S? Guys, how do you do an S? S. S. How does one do an S? That is awful. That's really bad. No. F. M. F. M. No, nope, that doesn't work either. I don't think I like that. I'm really not sure what to put on the side. Someone's mentioned HH, and I guess that would be pretty cool. So, like, H right there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then here, H. H. T H. H. H I H. He. I don't know. I, I I could use pendable signs and we could write whatever we wanted on the side, actually. So let's do that. Here we go. We'll go with something about this big. Awesome. Get our pendable signs out and we'll be doing some artwork today. Let's get on with it. And there we go. Okay, right. Then we're going to make all of them green, which is going to take a while as well. So we'll quickly do this and then we'll figure out what we want to put on the side. And then I guess we'll just go ahead and do it because, um, yeah, why not? It's all green! There we go. Alright, awesome. So now we could actually write an S on here, but um, I'm thinking we start with an F because frantic. Uh, I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and put the F in at the very beginning. Uh, we'll put it in right here. F. Yes. Okay, F. I don't know how big I want this F to be. I also don't know how fat any of this should be either. So I'm thinking like three wide for everything. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Like this. Actually, let's go four. Let's go with four. There we go. Four. And then this bit goes out to about there. Alright, that's very nice. And yeah, that, that works. Nice. I do kind of feel like it should be bigger though. So we're actually going to make this a lot bigger. So we're going to go down to there. We're going to make this come up like so. Yes, get rid of this bit. We're going to make this bit a bit wider. And we're going to make this bit a bit wider. Which means this bit should be shorter, but then wider there. Alright, there we go. F. Uh, S. FT, frantic train. Frantic train, FT. But then we need more. Northeast. FT, FTS. W? FTS? Frantic train, stoneworks? I don't know. Alright, never mind. Uh, I was just gonna write frantic on the side, and I have just wrote frantic on the side. Um, I, I feel like this should just be like three or four letters though, so I might change this in the future. But anyway, for now we're gonna leave it like this. We're also gonna... I guess we'll leave it as, as it is for now. Uh, we'll put this on the other side as well, because reasons, and uh, I just want it to look a little bit nicer first. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna accent it, if that makes sense, uh, with everything on this side having an accent. Yes! So what you do is you just go to the edge of every side that is facing that direction, even the inside edges, so even this piece, uh, and essentially you just draw a line uh, using a different colour, like this one, and it gives it a bit of a shadow, and it, in the end, it should actually look pretty cool. So we're going to do it for all of them, and hopefully, in the end, it will actually look pretty good. We'll do this bit too. 
There we go, and all of this, yes, and that is cool. Yeah, we're gonna do it for all of it, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second when it's done. Alrighty, there we go. So I've actually wrote this on the side. I don't know whether to underline it or anything like that. In fact, I might actually underline it. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and I might draw around it a little bit as well. So let's do that real quick. And then from there, I'm not entirely sure what we'll do, actually. I uh, I, I, I put it in a box. I, I don't know whether I like it in a box, but it's in a box for now. Anyway, what have we done today? What have we actually done? We've uh, fixed this little bit so it looks a little bit better. Awesome. We can go up here and we can actually get inside the cabin and it actually looks really nice in here. Very good. We can then do this and that'll turn on the light. We can do this, open up that and we can actually throw coal from here straight into there. And that is awesome. Yeah, that is actually amazing. Um, other things, what, have, what else have we done? Uh, close that back up. Awesome. Uh, we've done the bit at the back as well. So if we can actually get around the back, which we can't currently, because I can't jump over this anymore. Um, whoa, we could go around the side. There we go. Uh, we've added all this to the back end as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and that is, that is it. Nice. You know what? This is actually pretty cool. So the last thing that I do want to do today is I'm going to move this forwards. We're going to spawn in two of the, uh, the passenger cars that I made last time. And, uh, we're going to see if it can pull two of them and what it looks like doing so. Okay, we've moved it out. Let's go ahead and run backwards real quick and we'll actually start sending the cars out. We can actually push the cars, so that's okay. Uh, but here we go, We're gonna grab them. Obviously they're the wrong color as well, they're actually red. Uh, and that is green, but actually that will, that'll work, it'll be fine. Uh, in the end, the actual locomotive will be frantic red, don't worry about that, it will be that color. But, uh, for now, just for the testings and things, I wanted to change the colors, just to see what they would look like if we did change them. Uh, and I think that looks okay, but it doesn't look the best. Alrighty, there we go. So we're actually attached on right there. That is pretty awesome. Uh, obviously we will fall down if we uh, we have it like this, but that's okay. Uh, if we go this way, we also are attached here as well. And uh, we're actually ready to go. So let's start pulling and we'll see how fast we can actually go with two cars. Should I add a third one just because? I think I should. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, push this one forwards as well. And then hopefully everything will be fine. They'll all be attached together and that will be awesome. There we go, we're attached. Yes, let's get this moving and hopefully it'll all be good. We're in and we are ready to go. Okay, right, turn the brakes off. Fantastic, go forwards and we are actually moving. All right, fantastic. That is very nice. How fast are we going? We are going five. Okay, that's not the best. There we go, now we're going 10. Okay, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, oh, 18, 19. Let's go a little bit faster if we can. Oh yeah, 25. Oh, this is perfect. Yes. Oh, look at it go. That actually is awesome as well. Nice. Guys, we did it. We built something that totally works. It's going 30 uh, meters per second. If I push this in a little bit more, I don't know whether we can make this go any faster. 35? Okay, so pushing it in all the way never really works. But, pull it out a little bit. And we're going, we're going 32. Awesome. Look at it go as well. These cars actually look pretty good on the back of here. Uh, we do have a defect on the cars, and that is those buttons right there that you can see. But it actually looks really good with the cars, so I'm happy. I've put the brakes on. We are now going to start going backwards, I guess. So turn the reverse on. There we go. Turn the brakes off and push the clutch in. And we'll see what kind of speed we can get going backwards. So the key ratio backwards is actually one to one. I'm not entirely sure how fast we'll be able to go with one to one, but um, apparently actually pretty quick. And we've actually made it all the way back, which is uh, pretty insane. And we're gonna be going into a different, uh, we're gonna be going into a different train shed, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna go all the way to the right, question mark, I think. Yeah, off we go, nice. All right, that is awesome. Uh, oh my God, okay, I think we've broken something. I think we broke something, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, so that works. That's good. Uh, we don't have any buffers on the train cars. Uh, and with that being said, oh my god, wow. When we're actually pushing backwards, um, obviously they will smash into each other. I don't know how we damaged that. How did that happen? I didn't see. I didn't see what, what damaged that, but wow. Uh, and then all the train cars are actually completely fine. I like this. So far, I actually really, really like this locomotive. Uh, and the train itself, actually. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to end the video here. We've added Frantic to the side of the tender, and I think that's pretty cool. We've also added uh, the... Whoa. 
We, we changed a lot back here, actually, haven't we? We added the floor, so it looks a lot better. We also added this, so it actually is really, really cool as well. Uh, a welding torch being in there might be a, might be a good addition as well. Uh, but that's awesome. I really, really like this. Anyway, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.